what's up guys, Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, addressing again the co co uh, community, uh, the, U the Final Fantasy YouTube community, not all of them, but to the select ones, I the select ones, uh, mostly commenters that do this, the commenters, you know, not, you know, no YouTube channels in specific, just commenters usually, again, let me go back in time and tell you why. Back in 2009, why Versus 13 would have never worked out as its original game before it became Final Fantasy 15 with the same exact concept name just changed around to play as a new game. This game before it, this game's been developed for several years. The first thing, okay, Tetsuo Norma was working on Versus 13, and if you know anything about Tetsuo Norma. Look how long it took for the original Kingdom Hearts 2 to be released after Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, a lot of years, right? Even took a long time to get the middle sequel, Rechain of Memories. Which, actually, I guess it wasn't that hard, really. But you get the point. Yeah, the point is... See, the point I have with the fan base is, like, they still believe deep inside it's going to come back... Final Fantasy 15 is going to come out with a new sequel, and it's going to be Versus 13. But I can't correct people, because then people make fake profiles, get trolled, get butt hurt, and only because they think it's his existence. This is, why, this is where people need to be more productive, okay? This is why I think you should increase your... If you have a job, increase your job hours. You know, get yourself a girlfriend, go to the gym... And build some games like this. Instead of just sitting at home arguing with me over the same topics I've owned you guys. This is not a theory. Now, before anything else, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, say that um, back when it was still versus 13, which was still in, um, was still in 2009... It wouldn't have worked out. I mean, it, and the reason why it is, Final Fantasy XIII, the original game, didn't do as well. And I know I love Final Fantasy XIII, but my word over critics who pretty much have college degrees to review, sit there and review games and see if it's playable to everybody else. And let's just be honest, Final Fantasy XIII, the original, got a bad score. Same thing did its sequel that was really good. Final Fantasy 13 2. Same thing with Lightning's Return. All bad scores. People still shat on the game, even though I love the game personally. But they lost a lot of money thanks to those critics. That's why I say, you know, critics have the power. Some uh, critics have some power in the gaming industry. Critics have some power in the gaming industry to actually help the sales. You know. Now, I'm not going to pull a hip-hop gamer and get mad that they gave those games fair scores. To you, them, it didn't do so well. To me, it did. But me versus the critics, I would lose automatically because I don't have a college degree or credentials to back up my claims about what makes a good game and what doesn't. Now, this is where I, it gets into this. If, if, if Final Fantasy Type-0 on the PSP, the import... Couldn't have them get the money to import the game over to um, us Americans on our PSP systems. I guess because I guess PSP systems started to lose their value just a little bit. You know, Dissidia kind of fixed that a little bit. But, you know, but losing the value over time. But that's not the point. The point is, if they can't put Final Fantasy Type-0 on, you know, pour it over here because of money constraints, how would you think Final Fantasy Versus 13 would have came out? It would have came out, no offense, worse than it wor, wor, worse than the bad ending. People were like, oh, Chapter 13 was terrible. Chapter, yeah, Chapter 13 was terrible, but I prefer the Chapter 13 original Final Fantasy 15 over a Versus 13 because we don't need any more Final Fantasy 13 games. Final Fantasy 13 was good on its own. Another thing too about Versus 13 was it would have never worked out because they didn't have the not only 
Tetsu and Norma is a perfectionist, and we all know this because it takes him forever to release games. It takes him forever to release games. But also, there was no money in it. They lost a lot of money because critics ripped apart Final Fantasy XIII. And I know about business. If your game gets ripped apart by critics, you're losing lots of money. You know, now it did gain some money because other people. There are people who play Final Fantasy XIII. You know, the only people who truly hated Final Fantasy XIII, besides you know game critics, were the classic Final Fantasy fanboys. But you know, again, I guess in some cases YouTubers do have some powers because there is more of uh, people who hated Final Fantasy XIII out there than there are of uh, people who love Final Fantasy XIII, just like I did. But it would have never worked out because they didn't have the money to actually get a versus 13 out there. Yeah, they kept releasing tech demos, and people would or will be willing to pay money out of their ass for this product, you know, this massive product. But it would never have worked out, you know. I mean, sure, this would have had a trilogy just like Lightnings, but if it would have stayed part of the Crystallium Novia. It couldn't really have a sequel because Type Zero never had a sequel. Okay, it never had. Now it had a special episode, but that's in Japan. That's 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 import. But that's that's so that's that that's another thing over there. We're talking about here in this country. It would have never have been good if they would have made Versus Thirteen. Be sure, it would have fixed Chapter Thirteen's problems, and they would have kept Idolus as the villain like they wanted to. They would have kept Ravis as the hooded person and yes yeah, Stella would have had to fight Noctis in the final battle you know instead get herself killed by the main villain which Arden was part of versus 13 if you didn't realize that he just wasn't as he didn't have as big as a role as he did with 15 but I like 15 a lot better because it was new it still kept its versus 13 it still kept its versus 13 it still kept its versus 13 um his, uh, um, you know, what is it called, um, stuff, you know, material, just changed it around. Like I said, thieves are now demons, you know, the thief sicknesses where people get, get sick and turn to thieves in Final Fantasy XIII, well, in 15, it's changed by the Star Scourge. The Star Scourge is a, is a disease by, that Ifrit created to put inside the sun to turn people into demons, and that's what happened. That's why, you know, all, that's why if you fight any, uh, any of the demon monsters that are more human, like when they get low health, they walk back because they were once human, but the Star Scourge turn them dead. What, now what kind of concept was that before? Oh yeah, that was a fucking seat before. But you guys don't realize that, you know, if Versus 13 wouldn't have been a good concept due to the fact that they didn't have the money to make the game. It would have never turned out better if they would have released it back then. It probably would have turned out the same, except it wouldn't have got as much backlash as 15 because the ending wouldn't be as atrocious, which I will agree versus 13 is a better game at the point of the ending wouldn't be atrocious. But, you know, some ideas couldn't be even green lighted. Versus 13, we're going to have voices in kids' head telling them to go kill other people. Now that's too dark. That's 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 too much. That's so much darkness, dude. That you know, that it makes it makes Dirge of Cerberus a G-rated game. If you know how dark Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus was, it makes that a G-rated game. If Versus Thirteen would have came out, they had a chance of concepts because some concepts wouldn't be green lighted. So they had to recreate another type of game. Which they recreated versus 13 again for 2011. But knowing Tetsu and Norma, it's not perfect. Knowing their money losses because the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy, the original Lightning trilogy, didn't do as well as the other Final Fantasy games. They had to constraint themselves. Now, do I agree with this concept of holding the game back for this long? I kind of honestly don't, but I'm glad they did because... Even in the end, with Chapter 13's bullshit, you know, Final Fantasy, you gotta admit, Final Fantasy 15 has turned out to be a better game than Versus 13. It has turned out to be better. 
You know, because it's a, I mean, yes, hey on it, oh, the ending was bad, no one questions got an answer. Even that, I don't care. Yes, that, that was bad, but it's like, at the same time, would it have been any better if it was still versus 13? Would it be honestly better if it was still versus 13? No, it wouldn't. Instead, instead of the bad ending that people would complain about, people will say, well, this is like Final Fantasy 13. Why is there, we're putting extra, let's see, and you guys would have complained about that stuff if we went out. Because that's all you guys do. All, you, I'm not, you know, this is the only part of the community I don't like is the bitch and moaners who constantly nitpick at every little decision that's, you know, that's being made. You don't like Final Fantasy 15 because of Chapter 13, but you want to go back to Versus 13. But then you complained. You complained, oh, they need to do this. They need to do that. They need to do that. You know, I can't wait till the Final Fantasy 7 remake comes out because you guys are going to be bitching so much. You, you, in fact, I hope, I hope, I know, I actually hope that Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake comes out. And I hope... You, you guys get mad and bitch because you know what that's going to give me more material and more views you're only giving me more views at the end of the day with your bitching moaning and complaining when you go around here trolling making fake accounts trying to fuck my life over and spam and dox and threaten to kill and rape me all you're doing is giving me more views you're not doing shit for yourself you know you trolls just sit on your computer eating fucking cheetos and having cheetos fucking Cheeto crumbs all over your chest being on 4chan all day instead of being go to the gym and become a better looking man like me who can actually pick up a woman at the end of the night while you're sitting there masturbating to hentai or being on 4chan trolling people. No, I'm, I'm going to say I'm not going to hold my tongue on this shit because I get tired of these fantards because you know what I, I, I not as much as I like social justice boys at the point, I'd rather put up with social justice warriors than, this, than these bullshit-ass children. Man-children, I should say, because these are probably men in their 40s who go around here trolling, doxing, and sending rape threats. But thank you, because you know what? You just give me more publicity. You give me more publicity than I can ever do with it. So, you know what? You know, you keep doing what you're doing. You're just going to give me publicity, and I'm just going to end up blocking your dumb asses. You know, but I have to sit and address this again. It wouldn't have been. It would have been the same game back then as it would now. It just wouldn't have done as well localization as now because Tabata had uh, not only Tabata had the idea to go ahead and release the game as it is. As well, he knows about localization because he likes making his games Western. He likes the West. Tab Hajime Tabata likes the West, and because. His research he does on the West, Final Fantasy XV turned out to be a better game than Versus 13. I don't care what you say. Concept-wise, Versus 13 would have been a better game because it was the original concept. And it was cool at the time. But it would have never worked because, yeah, again, Tetsuo Norma is a perfectionist. He, 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 he doesn't want to send out games until he believes they're perfect. Money constraints... They kept pushing this project back until it finally became Final Fantasy XV. And Hajime Tabata, even with the bad ending, it was still a little bit better on his direction because he localized the game. He got the game localized. He knows how to get games localized because Tabata is in tune with the American, the Western part of the fan base rather than the Eastern because... They've done a lot of Eastern. Not to say he doesn't stay Eastern to his roots. He's just, he's more of a Western guy. He likes Western shit, you know. Tab and, you know, it comes out in the game. So localization was a lot better when it was, by, when it was Final Fantasy XV. But I just had to keep addressing this until you finally get that Versus 13 is never going to be a sequel. Final Fantasy XV can't be a sequel. I mean, even with the main characters. I said if it was possible, it would have to be done by... The characters that are alive but you know i'm going a little bit over time so you know for i'm going to say this noctis is confirmed dead okay there's no bringing him back second of all 15 did better localization and better story and better things despite the ending so may the crystal be with you my arch fiends 
Don't listen to these fantards. They don't know what they're talking about.